I'm going full YouTuber on this one. Got one knuckle crack. That was. Here we go. What's up, guys? I was. Oh my god. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I I'll act like I did enjoy doing that, but um, you know, deep down, it did feel a little bit good. What's up? As you can see, I cleaned a little bit of laundry from the background, although my bed isn't made and stuff like that. I cleaned my room a little bit, so it's gonna be good. Uh, if you're new here, uh, I do all these algorithm solutions and that's why I'm talking about LeetCode today. If you don't even know what LeetCode is, I don't really know why you're watching this, but uh, basically it's just a problem to help, um, not a problem, it's a, basically what LeetCode is, is it's just a platform that helps people prepare for their technical interviews, specifically related to algorithm problems, um, as of recently even databases and some system design but uh, mostly algorithms i've done hundreds of these algorithm solutions on my channel if you want to check those out but what i want to talk about today is leak code premium and if it's worth it or not and why you know what are the benefits of leak code premium why should we buy this mm -hmm. this is my first month with leak code premium and um i overall i've used it i use it but Overall, I'm going to argue that it's not worth it, which I know is kind of messed up considering I do my whole channel based on leak code. But come on, I think that if I'm being completely honest here and I want to be honest on this channel, the pricing is pretty outrageous. I mean, it's like, what is it? It's 35 bucks for a month and then I think 149 bucks for the year. That's a little bit much, you know. I paid 35 bucks. I didn't. I'm not even doing. I didn't even do 35 problems. Ten, you know, I probably I did. did 10 premium problems for the month, and that comes out to me paying three dollars per problem. And when there's so many different outlets and platforms to study for your technical interviews, it's really not sustainable to be paying three dollars for a problem, uh, especially if you don't even know how to do it. Um, you know, three dollars per problem is just insane. So let's let's just go through this and see what they have to offer. So, so this is my premium account. This is what I have unlocked, and basically what you get is I think you don't have the frequency before. So this shows you how much uh, frequency of problems that appear in real interviews. I don't know what this data is based on. Um, I don't know if they, this company has access to, you know, hiring committees at, you know, places like Google, Uber, et cetera, but they're saying that they know the frequency in real interviews, maybe there's surveys or something, but um, it is nice because you could filter on frequency. So you do want to kind of, the ones that are most frequent are the ones that have the most likes and are really are kind of the best problems. So it is nice to kind of have that and just click on them right away. You get to kind of see the best problems to do right away. Um, besides that, they also have, uh, you get access to all the locked problems, right? So they have a bunch of these locked problems. Most of them are unlocked though. So you only get access, I mean, maybe another 20 to 30% of the problems are locked. Um, so you're getting access to another 30% of the problems, which is, it's nice. There are some good problems that are locked that I'm glad that I got to do because I paid for the premium. Uh, subscription the mo we also unlocked mock interviews but unfortunately these mock interviews aren't with real people these are just you getting questions and then getting compared to other people that also spend a question doing these interviews so it's really just like you're solving the problems not too great not really a mock interview and then the main reason that I got this subscription originally was for the explore page. And the explore page is supposed to give you exact study guides for each individual company you wanna get into. So for example, if you want to study for the Google technical interview or the Uber or whatever, these were all locked before. So now you have specific study guides for specific companies. But what they don't tell you is they just take problems from they just take any of their problems and then just categorize them based on company. And I'm not so sure how they know what these companies are doing. Because let me explain this. Every senior software engineer that's giving interviews at Facebook or Google or Uber, they can give you whatever question they want most of the time. They pick the questions to give to their candidates. So 
this is pretty arbitrary the way that they're just listing these problems based on company it seems like they're kind of just making it up almost i'd like to know what they're basing this off of i don't know if there's any correlation because from what i understand at all of the places i've seen the interview we the interviewer can pick the que any question they want. So if they have a favorite question, they're gonna pick that. Um, maybe they just are basing this off of surveys and what most commonly comes up at these companies, but it seems like they really could. It's pretty arbitrary and you could end up getting any problem. So studying for these exact paths, there's nothing in here that's really valuable information. I don't see anything that's very specific to Facebook and I don't see anything that's very specific to any of these companies except Google which is just a well-known process so they have literally this is the basically what you're paying for is you know a couple paragraphs talking about the interview process at google and if you want to know about the interview processes at different companies cracking the coding interview by gail lockman mcdowell is a great book that explains all of this stuff so i'd honestly recommend that you can get the whole book for the price of a one month only membership I just don't think they're really offering enough here. I think if they reduce the membership to $10 a month, that is a much more reasonable price. That's fair. I'll say it's, I'll value this at $10 a month. Other than that, there's so many other so, sites. Go to Hacker. Um, I, I don't even, you know, you can look them up yourself. I don't, the list goes on. I don't, I don't, off the top of my head, I can name like 10, but there's like probably like 30 plus that you can get algorithm problems on. So, and solutions. So. Um, I do like the user interface, and I think that LeetCode's great for um, the, just being a platform that everyone can use for free. I think it's probably one of the most used platforms right now, and I do understand they need to monetize and make money on the product, so without spamming us with ads and stuff like that, I see why they need to make money based on their high subscription prices. But I do also think if they maybe lowered it to $10 a month, there would be way more people signing up. I would be glad to pay $10 a month for my Leco Premium membership. In the end, if you have the money, if you're like loaded or whatever, you know, it's not crazy money, so you can spend it. But for someone who's in college, a lot of college kids don't necessarily have the money for something like this. I would highly recommend against it if you're on a budget maybe go for cracking the coding interview and look up do the e there's a ton of there's so many other unlocked problems that you can already get prepared with the unlocked problems as well as um, just other sites so i would say check those out instead let me know what you guys think below let me know what you guys think about lead code premium um, filtering by company like i said is just i don't know where they come up with this stuff so um, let's check it out. Finally, $35 a month. Oh, it's actually $159 a year. So, all right, guys. So, that's the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts on premium leak code. I am not for it until they make it cheaper or add more stuff. But, like they say here, it says premium questions every week. And I do see more questions every day. So, maybe if they get a ton of more questions up on there, um, I will be a premium member. So, um maybe this is an unpopular opinion let me know in the comments i appreciate you guys for watching and uh check if you love lead code i got hundreds of these uh algorithm solutions now and i do them every single day like trying to do five a day so check them out as well so that's it that's a wrap on this i like you guys i love you guys i appreciate you guys and um thank you guys for watching so i will see you in the next sorry for hitting the mic I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.